Your mind is supposed to wander. It is a powerful, powerful supercomputer. There's trillions of cells in there, and it's a three-dimensional web, and it's thinking, and it's powerful. That's not going to stop anytime soon. All you have to do is notice it, take a deep breath, and go back to the area of focus. And if you have to do that over and over, then so be it. Life skill that we have to learn and practice. There's a discipline to it. And it's needed mostly because as human beings, we get locked in our minds, okay? We get into patterns. In mindfulness, we call that monkey mind, or it could be on autopilot, like if you think of uh, a groove in a record player. We just fall into these ruts and we play them over and over. That's, that's the groove. On the monkey mind, we sort of swing all over the place and, and our minds sort of... Well, when, we're, when we bring in mindfulness, we become aware of that, and it allows us to actually choose another path. And that's very, very beneficial. So we don't get locked or entangled in our, in, our, in our minds anymore. It's still there. The patterns might be there, but we've stepped out of it a bit. We've loosened it. We've brought in a new player to the game. And that player is, is awareness. It's presence.